you're looking at the future of flying cars or EVTOL, electrical vertical takeoff and landing. This is the Bell Nexus 4EX and it's designed for short hops, not long journeys. Think sort of eight to 10 mile journeys. Now, this is absolutely enormous. To give you a sense of scale, it's about 15 feet high, the clearance here. The ducts themselves are around eight feet across and it looks absolutely incredible. It's kind of like a hybrid helicopter plane. So to find out more about the Bell Nexus, I'm going to chat with Scott from Bell. Now, Scott, Good to see you. Good to see you too. Now, Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. Now tell me a little bit about exactly what you are designed the Bell Nexus 4EX for. So the Bell Nexus 4EX is the, the gold standard for our on-demand mobility platforms. And on-demand mobility is about Bell moving people, goods, and data from point A to point B in an on-demand fashion. So Nexus is designed mostly for that people mission. So think of it as an air taxi that you can hail from an application that you carry on your smartphone and go to a destination of your choice without any traffic. So how fast are we talking? Let's talk top speed, sure. payload, and how heavy this thing is. So the payload capacity is four plus one passengers, so that's roughly in the 800 to 1,000 pound range. It goes 150 miles an hour for cruise, and it can go a distance of 60 miles all electric, like the version you're seeing here, or 150 miles plus with our hybrid electric version. Okay, 150 miles an hour, that's fast. Yeah, that's it's pretty a fast. Word. Okay, let's go inside <laughs> and take a look at some of the technology in here. So, Come on in, welcome. Thank you. I'm going to take the uh, passenger seat, I believe. Oh, yep. Wow, okay. All right, so sitting down. First thing I notice, it kind of feels like an airplane seat, car seat. Yeah, it's great. yeah. It's it feels very normal considering that I'm in a flying car, technically. <laughs> yeah. Well, we love hearing that. We started our design from these seats out instead of from out in. So this is our effort to make sure we find a new customer set folks like you and I, folks like the people at CES, and we want them to have that feeling of familiarity when they enter the vehicle. So what's happening on this screen above me? There's a, obviously a lot of lights and movement. Uh, is this supposed to be giving me information about my journey? Yeah, this is a screen that we're using at the show to give people the sense that you're connected when you enter the Nexus vehicle. So you'll know about where you came from and where you're going because your device will connect to our machine and provide internet service and provide communication services so you feel like you've you know, just stayed in your digital world. It feels very, very comfortable. Okay, so what other creature comforts are in the cabin for passengers? Yeah, well, they'll be safety first, of course. These are seats that are crash worthy, and they will also have a retention system like we're familiar with in cars and jets. Um, but there's also the ability to adjust these seats. One of our main um, KPIs is to have it accessible so we can take these seats out and you can have um, space for someone maybe that needs a wheelchair or someone that's bringing children along that need to buckle in uh, with their seats. We also can accommodate logistics missions if you took all the seats out or even an emergency medical service mission. Okay, so let's talk about the real world. So when are we actually going to expect yeah. <laughs> this on the market? Because that's the question that I want to answer. When yeah. am I going to be in a flying car instead of having to sit in the traffic. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're talking about the middle to late 2020s, and that seems like a long time away, but for us, that's just around the corner. So we'll be developing this experimental aircraft to fly very soon as a technology demonstrator, and then a certified vehicle and system, a digital system and physical infrastructure will be ready in the late 2020s. Excellent, Scott. Yeah. Thanks for showing me around. Yeah. I'm gonna take one last look of the outside. Right. because. The actual ducts are really interesting. So if you come out and take a look, now these ducts here, now when it is actually taking off vertically, so they are sitting horizontally, kind yes. of like this, right? Kind of like this, just a little tilted back, more parallel to the ground, yeah. And then obviously when we're moving in the air, they're tilting and yep. going straight forward. Yeah, we call that a powered lift aircraft. It's an aircraft that flies like a helicopter and an airplane at the same time and we have these tilted ducted fans because the ducts augment the power, they help us to keep it quiet, and we've also discovered from interacting with our customers that it makes them feel comfortable as they approach the aircraft. They don't see rotating prop rotors, they just see a duct, they look solid, and they say, this vehicle is something I want to ride in.
and most importantly, there's enough clearance so I'm not going to have that paranoia when I get into a helicopter yeah. that I have to duck down. Exactly. Excellent. Well, that's been your first look at the Bell Nexus 4 EX here at CES 2020. Make sure to subscribe to CNET for lots more from CES. Thank you.